Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. How to buy and how to use, that's what I'm here to do. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com Good morning YouTube. Today we are going to take a look at our Free Solo Romo, which is a size up from the Free Solo OG that I posted earlier this month. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is our 2022 Free Solo Romo. You are at 2,060 pounds dry on this exact unit and 15 feet and 6 inches. So you're under 16 feet total length. Super lightweight coach. Could pull it with a, um, you know, one of the minivans that's got the bigger engines that can pull 3,500. On the exterior of the Romo, the differences between the OG and the Romo, the OG sits a little bit lower. Obviously, there's a couple feet of um, height, more height on the Romo but you do lose the outside awning and the luggage rack. And I think that's because on the OG, you have no place to hang out inside the coach. So they give you the awning to hang out outside. With the Romo, you've actually got space in there in case it rains. Um, so you don't necessarily need that awning as much as you do on the OG. Pass through storage here. Well, I wouldn't say completely pass through because you can't access it from the other side, but you can see, um, all that storage there, you've got some to the right as well under the wheelbase or above the wheelbase. You know, a lot of people ask me about these because Braxton Creek um, has another one called the Bushwhacker, very similar, and they are aluminum framed. So people assume and say that the Free Solo is also aluminum framed. But if you look back at that pass-through, you can see that I've got plywood in there. Now it is aluminum frame, which means that this the outside cage is aluminum. So I think that's where the mix up is. Um, it is plywood construction with fiberglass sidewall and the actual skeleton of it is aluminum. So I think that's where the mishap is because they're both built by the same company in the same way. So that's how you get that. Uh, on the back, you have your lights, right? Your marker lights there. You've got some stabilizer jacks just to level the coach so it's not bumping around on you when you're moving inside. And then on the camping side, your AC is side mounted. It's a 5,000 BTU AC. And down here, you've got an outside shower that's gonna have hot and cold water for you. Super convenient. Nice big off, off I was gonna say off grid, but really it's all terrain. Goodyear tires, the rugged tires with a six year warranty from Goodyear. And it looks like you've got a portable solar panel plug. If you wanna bring a little solar panel to trickle, trickle charge that battery, that's where that would go. Uh, mount here for the batteries if you want to add more of them. You've got your propane tank and a crank jack for the tongue. Okay, let's step inside this unit. So coming inside here, you've got the AC on the left directly above your sink, right? Stainless steel sink. Not a, These are the fixtures I'm not a huge fan of, but hey, for a free solo, they work. Down below it, You've got some storage underneath the sink, and then your furnace is below there. Uh, your wet bath here, so that's a shower and toilet all in one. And what they do here with this door, it's not a curtain, but it's not a full door either. So it's like a, um, almost like a plastic vinyl material. It's very thin, but uh, it, it has a magnet and it will sit there comfortably and give you the full privacy, but it still has room in case you have condensation from the shower. You can turn on this vent fan and you can air out the coach when you're showering. Uh, I love this door because it's very simple. It tucks away really easily. Uh, it's not a pain in the butt curtain, but you gotta be careful when you open this, it's gonna, to unlatch the magnet, you push. And if you do that too quickly, it flies into the side wall. <laughs> kind of scares people. It's got a loud noise to it. Coming to the right, when you enter, you've got your two burner propane cooktop here. You've got uh, quite a bit of prep space for the size of the unit to prep anything you wanna cook here. And below, you've got a pretty decent sized fridge. No freezer in this particular one, but uh, yeah, you could fit your drinks, uh, maybe a couple of meals. 
and then you have your microwave here high point microwave little microwave but again it'll do the job above you've got some overhead storage next to your radio system and you do have outside and indoor speakers on this that's what your zone a and zone b are turning around in the unit you've got storage above the bed and dinette as well and this one's actually set up halfway so your dinette will also be your sleeping space you do have to uh you know if you want to use the dinette during the day you're going to have to make the bed every single night um, but that's the convenience of having that unit be under 16 feet so you can really fit anywhere um, nice big bed actually i love that and underneath is your breaker box there on the right you've got another little storage cabinet here and then access your furnace controls here and they've got this little side table as well which has some storage shelves there too so they do a pretty good job of uh, making do with the storage that they can it's everything you need to get started camping for one two of you maybe if you've got a four-legged camper they can sleep underneath there as well and that is our free solo Romo. Thanks so much for joining me. Till next time, happy camping.